Hype TV people! Woo, baby, this is a good one, folks. This is the first video in this uh, YouTube series. And this is a, a conversion we're doing over in Macclesfield. And this is a 24 bed HMO and four flats all into one. And it's actually been divided up into four individual self-contained flats. And it's four lots of a six bed HMO, if that makes sense. So it's 24 bed HMO in total, but it's not like um, one big massive 24 bed. It's divided into four separate six beds. Hope that makes sense, folks. And I've got some plans upstairs that I'll show you. So that sort of gives a little bit more clarity of what I'm trying to talk about. So this is it purely for the fact of showing you before and after. I'm going to do a very, very quick walkthrough of what it looks like now and show you the extent of the work. And I'll be obviously updating this with the YouTube channel with progress videos and lots of interesting facts, hopefully. And I'll be bringing a tickling stick with me. And we know how we like the tickling stick. So as a brief, brief sort of show, if you can see these centre pillows no! from here, 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 that's going to be a dividing wall. So what we're going to be doing is creating a studded wall around there. So from my finger there, from that wall to these pillows, no! all the way down to this door here, is going to be one, one shop. Then we're taking the shop front out there, creating another entrance. So then the other side of this pillow, from ah! here to here, just to say about there, where my finger is, we're going to create a walkway. So from there to there, there's another front, the shop front. And then we're going to be making a corridor from here, from the front of the shop, Probably not easy to see, so we're going to have a corridor there that's going to walk. It's going to walk all the way down. So if we draw a thing, line with, imagine every line with my finger. It's going to go there to there and create a corridor to the back. Again, the plans are there, so I'll show you. So again, so just to give you a, 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 to give you an idea of the sheer size of the beast. There we go. So this is just purely to the shop. I'm going to walk you along here now to the back. So we've obviously got to take all these full ceilings out, take all the shop front out here, completely strip it down. And now the, the light starts going really bad. So just like Blue Peter and the Boy Scouts, I am prepared, folks. Look at that. Oh, beautiful people, beautiful. Anyway, this wall's coming out behind me where the, the light is shining. This other light is obviously coming out. This was obviously the changing rooms. We'll be removing all these walls here. So the idea is that when we walk through those original um, doors and I was showing you, we'll be able to see those blue doors at the back. It'll just be one big empty floor. Now we've already had a structural survey done and the ceilings, the, sorry, the floors in this one are completely concrete. So there's no structural issues with that. We've also got a lift here. So we've got to take, take out to remove the lift shaft which goes all the way up. Told you she was a big and her. We've got toilets here. So this is existing here. So because of the size of this job, it's obviously got to be f 10 So a builder's tip for you is if a, a job is a certain size and needs a certain amount of man hours or a certain amount of people on site at one time, an F10 is a form that you have to fill in to notify the health and safety that there's a development going on. So they are aware. So there's a little tip for you people, F10s. So right then, so we're going to be taking this wall out here and here, but then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating, recreating that wall out of stud work so that we've still got a toilet and we've got a, a facility for the lads to sit down and have something to eat. Because we are nice like that, and that's actually part of the F10. So these stairs will be removed because we're going to be cutting into the floors and putting some new floors in. And again, dip, dip, dub, dub. I've now got my tickling stick back. So just briefly outside, there's a nice jungle. So we're actually going to be landscaping this and creating it as a bit of a seating area for the tenants. So this is going to be completely flattened off. It's going to be um, slabbed. There's going to be a bit of a retaining wall done just about here where my stick is. And in there, in that brickwork behind my, my tickling stickers, we're going to be putting some double doors. So from there to there and down, double doors, so they can come up into some steps, come out there and appreciate a nice little bit of garden in the middle of Macclesfield. Oh, beautiful. 
So this is the first four. And again, a nice solid four. So as part of this uh, development, we've obviously had to have a um, asbestos survey. And we have found that the floor tiles in here are asbestos, so they need removing professionally. So I don't know why they've got me here, folks. Just to appreciate the size of it, that's obviously a study hall there. Beyond that doorway goes into another big room, so it's quite a large unit. So we've got some data, cameras, data cables there, so that was where the previous camera room was. We've got a bit of a kitchen that's coming out. And then we've got another toilet there. So all these walls are coming out. We're just going to open it up at the start. So it's going to be one ginormous, huge space. So here is we're going to be cutting the floor out. So this is a concrete floor, we're going to cut it out where the tickling stick is and where the light is shining on the floor. And that's going to make way for the stairs that we've got to put in, because we've got to put new stairs in. So, on this floor, there we go, and there's another way, so I'll just, so if you, if I stand here and do a full 360, just so you can appreciate the floor span of this, if the floor space goes all the way around, then we've got a study wall there. And through the study wall we've got all that space there, so. She's quite a big one. I've got some floor plans here. And I've had to put them up here because it's the only place I've got some lights because I haven't had the electrics done just yet. This is what I was referring to. So ignore the crumpleness. My, my kids decided to use this as some sort of tool to fight each other in the car. But anyway, so if I bring the camera there, I'm hoping that you can see it enough. So here we've got the two shops that are downstairs, unit one and unit two, where the tickling stick is here folks, keep an eye on it. That's the corridor that I was trying to explain to you, to go through to the back to the stairwell. So we've got flat number one there, and we've got flat number two there, flat number three at the back, and that's the double doors I was referring to, and that will be the access out for that flat into the, into the area where the garden's going to be. So that's where that is. So then as we come up the stairs, so this is where I was saying we're going to cut the floor out. We've then got a six bed HMO there, which comes from this line. So the brown line is the fire separation, so that you've got one, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six rooms there, a turn kitchen and a sitting lit sitting living room. You've then got another six bed HMO there, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bed HMO there. And then on the next floor up. We've got another six bed HMO, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We've then got separation there, so that's actually a, a single flat, so that's flat four. So you've got flat one, flat two, flat three, flat four, six bed HMO, six bed HMO. We've got a six bed HMO there with that, with, with, sorry, six bed HMO there with these two. And then we've got a six bed HMO with these four here, and then we're also going into the loft. We've got two rooms in the loft. So hopefully, that kind of gives you an idea. This is a picture of the, fr the front elevation, so that's the shop front we've got to do. That's the elevation at the back, so that gives you a good representation of how it is. It's a big flat roof with a concrete roof. All these here are all the, the windows we've got to knock in. So there's quite a bit of structural stuff to be done on one side of the building, and this is on the other side of the building. So this is where we've got more structural stuff to go in. So. She's quite a good one, to be fair, folks. So this is, a, this is the second floor. And just to give you an idea of the size of it again, it's huge. So we'll give it a bit of a spin around. Beautiful people, it's going to be beautiful. And this big, long, hard thing that goes from the front to the back, is going to be taken all out. And that obviously is vented through a window there. We've got to discontinue and get rid of the gigantic boiler, Tickle Tickle, and the aircon unit. Now she's a big one. So this is actually the loft room. Uh, 
and this is going to be turned into two bedrooms for the last lot of the six bed HMO. So if we spin around there, just do it a quick pan so you can see the size of it. So we've obviously got to put some Velux windows in here. Now, what we have got to do is these main pieces of timber here that are holding up the roof, if you can see there, from there to there, we've actually got to create a doorway inside there to get access to the next one. So these king trusses are going to have to be cut out and re-strengthened and made safe to create a doorway. And I think that would make quite an interesting video. Blair Witch John. So like I say, there will be many, many videos, folks, on this project because it's quite a sizable one. So stay tuned for any more tips or any problems that we find, etc. And I hope you enjoy the series. And if you do enjoy the series and you like to listen to me babble on about rubbish, like, share and subscribe, people. Hype TV people. See you soon, folks. Big loves. Mwah.